Welcome back to What's New. They say everyone has a twin. And I guess that includes The Rock. And history made at the box office. But we start with more changes to Jeopardy. I know a lot of folks are up in arms over this. And it's, of course, going on behind the scenes this time. Kira, what is up with these shows? That's a lot of drama happening. Absolutely. The punches just keep coming. And Mike Richards is officially out of a job. According to a letter sent to staff members earlier today, effective immediately, Richards is no longer the executive producer of Jeopardy or Wheel of Fortune. Richards, who was tapped to take over for the late Alex Trebek, stepped down earlier this month after his conduct and comments made on a podcast were called into question. In the letter, the company said that they hoped that Richards' exit as host would have minimized the disruption and internal difficulties that they experienced over the last few weeks, but added that that clearly has not happened. Mayim Bialik will fill in as host for at least the next three weeks. And the recently released horror film Candyman made headlines this week, raking in $22 million in its opening week. But also making headlines is its director, Nia DaCosta. The 31-year-old is now the first black woman director to have her film debut at number one on the box office charts. DaCosta co-wrote the 1992 remake with Jordan Peele and Wynn Rosenfield. And the good news for us is that she's not slowing down. DaCosta is currently working on the follow-up to 2019's Captain Marvel titled The Marvels, which is set to be released in November of 2022. And an Alabama police officer has been turning a lot of heads lately. 37-year-old Eric Fields recently went viral due to his uncanny resemblance to Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and he agrees. The Rock quoted a picture of the two side by side on Twitter saying, the guy on the left is way cooler. He told him to be safe and thanked him for his service, saying that the two need to get together for some Terramana, Johnson's tequila brand, so that they can hear The Rock's stories. The Morgan County officer called the comparisons humorous and flattering. Now, how about a fun fact for you? According to the BBC, there's only a 1 in 135 chance that there's a single pair of exact doppelgangers. So I hate to burst your bubble if you were hoping to find your long lost lookalike. We found rocks. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, you really have to look closely to figure out which one. Right? And, I mean, like muscles, facial structure, all of it. That, and the pose, too. We had the rock well, swag. Yeah, that's kind of that's not back. hard to do. Did you hear over here in the peanut gallery back here, and Jen and, and, and our friend, she's, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Now, I wonder if that wow was about the similarities or about the rock without a, without a shirt Probably on. Probably all of a the above. Of was it all of the above? <laughs> yeah, everything, yeah. I mean, I guess it's appropriate in either case, but do you have a do doppelganger that you know of? Anybody that no. we would know? Betsy, how about you? I don't think so. They asked me earlier today, do you have a celebrity doc? I'm like, nope, I don't. I, I don't think I resemble anybody. I don't know. Anybody. People tell me I look like other people, but I... Yeah. We never see that in ourselves. No. I only but. use it when there's freebies at Costco and I have to go back and get that, you know, the samples. <laughs> I was my twin. That's <laughs> hilarious. Well, everybody, our TikTok users are going to